Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your boy Burke Crown 88 coming at you with another pack opening video. We got our revivals rewards today. We made ultimate. I'm pretty sure we had a significant amount of points into ultimate when uh when the reset ended, so I'm sure we got ultimate. We're gonna find out here momentarily, and we're gonna hope for big pulls so we can boost up our team a little bit more. I wanna get Alex Tuck or uh Kuzmenko up to a 97. I think that'd be great. But I also have to put a little bit of focus into Soda Bomb and Brady Kachuk. So we're going to have to wait and see what rewards we can get if we get big pulls, where we're going to put them. But we do have to prioritize some things. And with those new event cards, we got to get Austin Matthews probably coming out. And Mike Fisher's probably coming out. So we got to rearrange that. And we got to get the lower cards a little, a, little, uh, a little love so we can move them up our lineup and they won't hurt us. So let's hope for big pulls, guys. If you do like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that comment section down below with how your rivals rewards went. I'm always curious where you finished and what you pulled. But let's get into it, guys. I hope you do enjoy it. All right, here we go. And yes, we have burst this week, so that's nice. Two minute periods is always lovely. And we got ultimate in Division Three. We we worked our way back up to Division Two, so we can get out of these Division Three rewards and back up in Division Two. I'm hoping that the team is good enough now that I don't have to struggle to win my games because it, it it was a struggle in Division Two with 90 overall cards. Now we're now we're getting 95s, 93s. We're working our way back up to Division Two, and uh, better rewards are to come. I don't know if these are new today or if I just missed them, but Curtis Douglas, Tyler Myers, and Ben Bishop, your Hut Champs collectible players. Curtis Douglas, I don't know if you know this, is massive. He's like six foot eight, six foot seven um absolutely massive i played with him when i had my leaf steam team going and he was a weapon out there and then ben bishop's always a problem and tyler myers is massive himself so, i mean that's always nice seeing uh, seeing a couple of good cards added to the game um ultimate packs 20 80 overalls so 48 over 80 overalls or better in the ultimate packs and then we got uh, jumbo nhl player packs two of them so that's uh, another 20 80 overalls between the two packs We'll start with the uh, jumbo NHL player packs and just see what we can get out of uh, out of the week's rivals reward grind. I am very excited for NHL 24. The trailer that came out 85 nights. The trailer that came out had a lot of good things in it and uh, it shows very very good promise for the game. And I'm also hearing about moments coming back and uh, other objective based situational player objectives. So you'll have things to work on on, in, on individual players, which I'm a big fan of that. 85, couple 84s, 86, nice, nice. I'm a big fan of that, and uh, I just hope that kind of stuff keeps coming out and they do it all year to give something to players to grind for all year because that's, that's something that I'm, um, I'm a big believer in is we need a lot of stuff to play, keep everybody busy, but also be able to reward both the hardcore and the casual player. All right, getting into the second jumbo pack. See what we can get here. We we got a very good first jumbo pack with uh, 85, couple 84s, and a purple pull, 86, but still a purple pull. If we can get just even an, a purple pull in here, that would be fantastic. Um, we got an 84. Not looking like we're gonna luck out with an 85, but maybe we can get a 86 or better. 86 or better. And uh, no, not 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 looking like it at all. So the 184 for this pack, but we still got our two ultimate packs, which will uh, which will really be good. I feel it. So the big boys, the ultimates, not an ultimate choice pack. Those would be nice, but you know, those are something we can get with our chance rewards next week. If you know we can put together more wins and get back up to 14 wins, then we can start opening more ch uh, hot try the ultimate choice packs, which you know those are those are always fun. They're always rewarding to open, but. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I always love when the uh, NHL 24 news comes out. Like, up, obviously, yeah, last year was 23. The year before that was 22. Because it's, it's a good indicator that IRL hockey is just also right around the corner. We got a couple 84s couple of, and 185. Can we get a purple? E no. Not in this pack. Maybe in the next one. Here comes the last ultimate pack. And... Uh, I need a purple out of this pack. This ultimate pack has to have a purple in it for me. If it doesn't have a purple, then uh, I don't think 186 and a handful of 85s and 84s covers a week of uh, a week of grinding, and uh, it's definitely not going to help anyone on my team. Like I'm not getting enough collectibles to boost up anyone on my team. I'm going to have to use these rewards 
and squad battle rewards to hopefully collect enough to, to bump somebody up. But uh, unless my squad battles rewards are good, I'm, I'm going to be hurting. I'm going to be into trouble. And no. So, yeah. It's a tough pack opening today. Rivals rewards hurt. But we're, we dropped down to Division 3. So, I already expected slightly worse rewards than I'm used to. But now that I'm back up to Division 2. As you can see here, back up to Division 2. We did lose a game. But, you know, we're back up to Division 2. That's what matters. We will fight all week to stay up in Division 2. We'll get our champs going. We'll get some wins in champs. Try to get back up to 14 wins. Get good rewards that way. Good collectibles that way. And then just, just help ourselves get back to getting the best rewards we can get to improve our team. If you haven't seen the team in a while, they, uh, they've they got some good improvements. We got 99 Matthews. But we got uh, Joel Erickson, X to a 97. Tuck to a 95. Kuzmenko to a 95. Dry to a 95. And Soderbomb to a 95. So that, that second line is very good. Um... But like I said, Matthews is going to be going here soon. So I'm going to have to move Soda Brahm up and Brady Kachuk up. So I'm going to have to give Brady Kachuk a boost. And that might be where I focus it on because when I move everyone up, Soda Bomb at a 95 will be fine. But I need to get Kachuk to a 95 for the second line. And then I'll have to figure out how to get Greenway up a little bit. Just because, I mean, I don't want an 86 on my third line, whether it's Greenway or whoever the new card is. And then on defense, we got Wi Fi, Carlo, Paranko, Miller. Morrissey and Zergachev. Zergachev's a lefty on the left side. It's a little weird having two lefties, but they haven't given us a third righty yet, so it's something we're gonna have to just wait on. And uh Allmark and Ottinger are our goalies in net. Um our Ottinger hasn't got any collectibles put into him yet, so we can't hold a good tryout to see who's better out of the two. But that is something I'm looking forward to doing. And if you don't want to miss that, hit the sub button notification bell so you don't, or jump over to Burt Crown on Twitch every morning at 7 30 a.m and you can catch a glimpse of all mark playing in that and soon to be ottinger anyways guys that is the team that was the rivals rewards for a week's worth of work that doesn't seem quite uh quite like enough but you know we have to wait and see what our squad battles has if our squad battles can get one or two good pulls into the 90s that will pull around the week our hut chance wasn't terrible we had a pack opening the other day if you hadn't checked that out that packing opening was released on uh, about a week ago biggest pull of the year so far guys and been gonna be our last great pull it was absolutely the best pull probably in the last two years for me so if you haven't checked that out go check that out you will enjoy that video it was a great pack opening it was a good, lot, good lot of fun and uh ended with a bang as the year moves on we're getting we're getting into more and more nhl 24 news it's exciting times and uh i just i can't wait for the deep dive into hut to see what all they bring anyone that's doing the nhl 24 play testing i've heard good things about it i hope you are enjoying it and i hope you're giving strong good feedback keeping an open mind right keep an open mind let's see what we can get into nhl 24 next year i'm really super excited i appreciate everyone for hanging out watching the video and until next time ciao ciao